The year is 1780. British General Cornwallis is now in charge of capturing South Carolina since Major General Clinton left for New York after capturing Charleston. The British at Camden were commanded by Lord Rawdon. After hearing news of General Horatio Gates marching towards South Carolina from the north, Rawdon ordered his troops to take a position on the northeast edge of town. When Gates approached, Rawdon fell back to Camden. To provide Rawdon with reinforcements, Cornwallis set off from Charleston and went to Camden. They eventually met and joined forces on August 14th. That night, both Cornwallis and Gates moved in for an attack. Both generals set up their armies with their weaker troops on the left flank, meaning that the militia on Gates' left flank were going up against the British Army regulars on Cornwallis' right flank, and the Loyalists and Irish volunteers on Cornwallis' left flank were up against the Continental Army regulars on Gates' right flank. This meant that when the British right flank's redcoats, led by James Webster, fired and then charged with bayonets into the American left flank, the left flank made of ill-trained militia regiments that had no bayonets fled. General Gates followed the militia regiments off the battlefield, leaving his subordinate commanders in charge of the right flank. Instead of pursuing the fleeing militia regiments, the British right flank turned and started fighting the Continental units on the Americans' right flank. The Continental troops managed to hold for a while, but were now down to 800 men versus Cornwallis's 2000. The formation of the Continentals was finally broken when a cavalry unit called Tarleton's Legion attacked the rear of the American right flank. The retreating Continental soldiers were then pursued by the cavalry for 20 miles. After leaving the battlefield earlier, Gates had rode a considerable distance by the end of the day, successfully escaping with his life, but not with his reputation. In the end, the British casualties totaled 324 killed and wounded. On the other hand, the American casualties totaled to 1,000 killed and wounded, and 1,000 taken prisoner. The Americans had also lost seven guns, along with all the American stores and baggage. The British had won the battle, along with ensuring their hold on South Carolina for the time being.